these were the letter of intent and the memorandum of understanding between the Dutch government and DFCU Bank <laughs> for support following Dutch Cooperative Rubber Bank's 25% acquisition of DFCU. Put simply, DFCU should start lending more to farmers, especially further down the production chain. Our partnership with Rubber, as well as the letter of intent we've just signed with the Dutch government, means that we can unlock the challenges that are constraining us from lending to the smallholder farmers if they are viable. And some of these challenges basically are technical skills at DFCU. But what did the Dutch see in Uganda that prompted the 21 million euros payout for this 25% stake in DFCU? Uganda is a very promising country with a lots of potential. Potential for an issue that um, um, is going to be a global issue, the issue of food security worldwide. The fertility of your land is of such nature that, that it can be, bring prosperity to even lots of people outside the country. Simply put, the Dutch see Uganda's agricultural potential as a food exporter. Having operated in the region for more than seven years, they have picked up some experience in dealing with smallholder agricultural structures. We worked a lot with um, outgrower schemes, uh, so a supply chain approach where we work with processors, um, financing their suppliers, cooperatives, uh, smallholders. Um, another model that we use is warehouse receipt financing. That is also uh, possible in Uganda. Their funding thrives on farmer groups linked to processors and exporters. Of course, the challenge here is that pharma groups are uh, in general quite weak. Uh, so we have to combine the financing uh, with capacity building. We improve, uh, we help improving their corporate governance, their management, uh, communication with members. Rubber Bank has a presence in Rwanda, Tanzania and Zambia working through local banks as it is with DFCU in Uganda. Samo Setumba, NTV, Business.